In December 2017, Omarosa Manigault had quite the dramatic exit from the White House with reports surfacing that she did not leave her job as communications director for the Office of Public Liaison quietly. Following her departure, she was very vocal as well and said she had quite a story to tell about working in the Trump administration, so, we knew that when she settled into the celebrity Big Brother house, she would likely tease a few tidbits about what went on in the West Wing. However, she went even further than expected during her time on CBB and dropped some major bombshells. Manigault dished on everything from staffers sleeping around to what Trump does in his underwear to why Americans would be sorry if the president was impeached and Pence took his place. Here are the craziest things Manigault has said about Trump in working at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. She compared the White House to a plantation, she felt like she was on a plantation. Hannes, I stock, Getty Images of course, everyone expected Manigault to address her infamous White House exit, and she delivered by comparing it to being freed off a plantation. The reality TV star still maintains that she was not fired, but resigned and said she felt this after leaving, oh, freedom, I've been emancipated. I feel like I just got freed off a plantation. Next, the president does this in his underwear. Trump tweets in his underwear. Is this what really happens in the White House at 4 a.m.? Alex Wong, Getty Images Another popular subject that people always want to talk about is the president's tweets and why there is no one advising or monitoring what he puts on social media. To everyone's surprise, Manigault revealed that there is a Facebook and Twitter rep on staff. But she was told that person can't really do their job because Trump tweets in his underwear at 4 in the morning. The bad tweets happen between 4 in the morning and 6 in the morning. Ain't no one else up there but Melania, next, she couldn't believe passengers on Air Force One had to do this. What Air Force One is really like on board she was not impressed with Air Force One. Joe Reddle, Getty Images Manigault also shared stories about how she enjoyed her time on board Air Force One, but there was one little catch she was surprised about. Air Force One is fun. When you fly, they shut down all air traffic, she explained, but you pay for the food. I got a bill and it was, like, $23, and I was like, I didn't even eat anything, so I called the military aid. I was like, why am I getting a bill? He's like, well if you even consume the snacks, you get a flat fee. Next, Manigault was asked about sex in Oval Office. White House staffers are sleeping around she revealed this interesting fact. Drew Unger, Getty Images since she spoke so candidly and really nothing seemed off limits, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Brandy Glanville decided to come right out and ask Manigault if slept her way into the Oval Office. Hell no, of course not. Brandy, that's horrible. Omarosa exclaimed, before adding, there's somebody in the White House that's sleeping around with everybody, but she is not me, I've never had to do that. When Glanville commented that she asked Manigault if she ever sex with her former boss because Trump really seemed to like her, the former Apprentice contestant replied, I'm just ratings gold. Next, she claimed she tried to be the voice of reason, she was attacked while trying to reason with Trump. Omarosa Manigault says she tried to reason with President Trump. Clary, AFP, Getty Images When Ross Matthews and Manigault were chatting about Trump, Matthews wanted to know if there was anyone in the White House who would try to steer the president the other way whenever he did something outrageous. Manigault claimed that she tried to do that before, but was immediately shut down by others in his circle. I tried to be that person, she said as she started to get emotional. And then all the people around him attacked me. It was like, keep her away. Don't give her access. Don't let her talk to him. Next, Manigault said Pence is much worse than Trump, Vice President Mike Pence is way worse than Trump she says Mike Pence is even worse than Donald Trump. Astrid Staviars, Getty Images Something else Manigault discussed with her CBB castmates is her feelings about Vice President Mike Pence, and they aren't positive. She warned them that things would be far worse if he was the commander-in-chief. As bad as y'all think Trump is, you would be worried about Pence, she told them, before elaborating by saying, everybody that's wishing for impeachment, might want to reconsider their life. We would be begging for the days of Trump back if Pence became president. He's extreme. A Christian, I love Jesus, but he thinks Jesus tells him to say things, it's scary. Next, she revealed that the country is in a terrible state, Manigault would never vote for Trump again, she would not vote for him again. Michael Reynolds, pool, Getty Images apparently, knowing what she knows now has opened her eyes to how things really are, and according to her, the country is not going to just be alright. It's gonna not be okay. It's not. It's so bad, she claimed. And, when asked if she would vote for Trump again Manigault responded, God, no never. Not in a million years, never. 
Follow Michelle Capusta on Twitter at Philomachelle. Follow The Cheat Sheet on Facebook.